Hey, welcome to part four of this Lo-Fi songwriting extravaganza series. So in this series, I'm giving you a set of chords, guiding you to build progressions, chord progressions on your own, and then you can use them for songwriting or jamming. If you want to see what this series is about or find the other videos in it, there's a lot of links in the caption below that are helpful. There's the playlist for all of them. There's day zero and day one that have a lot of information about how we use this series. And there's links to the printable and digital materials that you can get for free or you can get by joining as a member on coffee. So today's progression is an F major. We have F major seven, G minor seven, A minor seven, B flat major seven, C seven, D minor seven, and E minor seven flat five. So if you need like a visual um, kind of guide for this chord, it's like an F chord, like an F major chord, but you're moving it down to the next two strings. So an F major chord is on the E string and the G string. And if you move those down, this E minor seven flat five is the same shape, but we're on the A string and the C string. That's just a little trick I use to help me to get to that chord shape. These chords are in the scale, in the key of F major. They go together. You can mix and match them to make your own progressions, or you can use one of these ideas. So the first idea of the day is one and four. So we're using F major seven and B flat major seven. It's gonna give you this really nice, happy sounding progression. Just four of each of those. F two, three, a four, B flat, two, a three, a four. And the next one is two, five, one. So we have G minor seven, C seven, and F major seven. So I'm gonna do um, the two and the five for two beats each, and then the F major seven for four beats, like this. One, two, three, four, G, C, And the last one is one, two, four, five. So we're using F major seven, G minor seven, B flat, major seven, and C seven. And I'm gonna do them for four each, just so we move like a little bit slower through all those changes. One, two, three, four, F, G, B flat, So you might use one of these, or you might take some time to just mix and match and see what you like and see what sounds good together. If you're wondering about the color coding, again, that stuff is in day one, that information. Or you can get it in the full PDF guide in the members only area on coffee. The tip of the day is about phrasing. So this has to do with where you place lyrics, how long you hold a lyric for within a melody even where you put the syllables and how you emphasize certain words and don't emphasize other words. So this is not like a masterclass in phrasing, but I wanna draw your attention to that aspect of writing, how you can rearrange the way that you sing a sentence or a phrase to give it a different feel within the song or within the melody. And a good way to, to do this is to say the lyric and see where your intonation is rising and falling and let that guide you to putting it into a melody. So I'm gonna give you an example of changing phrasing using like one of the most common lyrics ever, baby, I love you. <laughs> so I'm gonna use 251 and I'm gonna sing that lyric using these chords like four or five different ways and just tweak it, change it a little bit each time. So you get a sense of what I'm talking about, changing where you place it within the chords, phrasing of it, it's really gonna change just by changing the placement of the words in the song. This is like phrasing challenge for me right now. <laughs> okay, so G minor seven, C seven, F. I'm just getting into it here. 
<laughs> Baby, I love you. Very simple one. <laughs> Baby, I There's so many different ways you can take one simple lyric. You can change where you place the words. You can change how long you say the sing the words. This is phrasing. And it's something that you can think about if you feel like you're kind of doing the same thing all the time. Try changing up the way that you place words into a song. Think about it being in a spoken situation and that might guide you into how you sing it or how you place it into a song. I'm gonna use the one, two, four, five. I haven't done one yet with a beat where I use the longer chord progression, so I'm gonna do that today. There's a link to the practice track for this beat that I used today, and there's five different beats so far in this series. I might end up making more. Let's see. <laughs> One, two, three, F major seven. It's just, I love you, right? It's the most common lyric. So let it out, let it shine. Baby, I, baby, I, baby, I love you. Baby, I love, love you. Baby, I love you, love you. Baby, I love, la, 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 baby, I love. Yeah. 
so much love for everybody joining this series. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. If you create something cool and you share it on Instagram, please tag it ukulele lo-fi challenge and you can tag me at brook palmer official and i will see you in the next installment of the series stay funky and happy creating everybody peace out